Good morning, good morning. President Biden trying to inspire optimism Thursday morning as Democrats are still reeling from Vice President Harris's loss to President-elect Trump. She gave her whole heart and effort, and she and her entire team should be proud of the campaign they ran. In this moment of division, encouraging unity. I know for some people, it's a time for victory, to state the obvious. For others, it's a time of loss. You can't love your country only when you win. You can't love your neighbor only when you agree. President Biden called President-elect Trump to congratulate him, says he'll work with him on a peaceful transfer of power, and has invited him to the White House, keeping with a tradition that Trump broke in 2020. Now, behind the scenes, there are Biden allies who blame party leaders like former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, former President Barack Obama, for allegedly forcing Biden out. But to many in the party, Biden holds some blame for Trump's victory. Harris campaign advisor David Pluff posted on X, we dug out of a deep hole, but not enough. Not long after, Pluff deleted his account. Some believe the vice president was unintentionally set up to fail with just over three months to run for president, something most candidates get over a year and a half, including a primary, to do. Ultimately, it was Harris who called the shots in her campaign. Some who worked on that campaign now publicly saying she didn't do enough to separate herself from President Biden. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? There is not a thing that comes to mind. That was the statement heard around the world because Americans are dying for a difference. They're dying for a change from the Biden administration. And she needed to go out there and make the case that she wasn't going to be Biden 2.0. She was going to be Harris. The real question for Democrats now is who will they be going forward? And next time, will it be what voters want? In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.